all of a sudden you got a mob ties room, nigga, fuck you, nigga. That's what I'm at with it. Nigga, take it how you want to take it, nigga. Mm. Stay your ass over there to mob ties. Uh, you know yeah. what's crazy is we met with the Weinsteins yesterday, and we talking about doing joint, doing a movie on my man Cato from Shottown. You knew Cato, and, and we know a million gangsters, million killers, million gangsters. This guy was different. This guy Humble. was too different. So you know, out of all the killers and gangsters I know, niggas is like, "Yo, Joe, what's the one you want to do?" I'm like, "Yo, shh, we gotta do this Cato story." Now, that's gonna you be got R. Kelly in there. You got DMX yeah. in there. <laughs> You got Joker. <laughs> Go back to 2003 and tell us a little bit about how you found out that you was being charged with the murder of Rudy Cato Rangel. Actually, I, I, it was crazy because I ain't know I had uh, got arrested actually for a federal case. I had, I had a warrant and I had just come out of uh, court from going to trial on a gun case that I had got acquitted from. When I came out, I got grabbed. So when I get to home in that field mode, you know, I'm in there for a big case. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm arrested by the federal government. So what's crazy, after my lawyer, my lawyer was present and I, 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 I don't work, you know, they wanted me to cooperate. So they, so once I'm cooperating everything, you know, my lawyer couldn't make it to court that day. So I had to sign a waiver so they could prolong my, cause you gotta go to a detention area when you're in federal. They got so many hours to take you to a detention area. So what happened was I signed a waiver to go the next day for my lawyer. Uh -huh. So I was in a bullpen. So that night they come and get me. So I'm like, man, that's crazy. I'm like, all right. So when they put me in the car, they taking me from Fillmore to Harrison and Kizzy. That's a police station out west. So I get in there and you know, we cool with the bailer. And I'm like, get on the phone cause I got on the suit. So the beta like, man, uh, you uh, I'm like, man, what I got? Cause the police and the police cops say I had a disorderly. So when I get on the phone, I'm like, man, they say I got a disorderly. He like, what? Sure, they say you got a big case. So I'm like, hold on, red, what I'm trying to do? Like, hold on, let me check. So he like, murder, I murder. So make a long story short, that's when my next day I go to bond court. That's when it was me. They called my name and they called my teeth, Nonary and Mark as well. They like take a fetch statement from Mark Keys, not to retake a fetch statement from Mark as well, but I'm snapping. Uh -huh. No statement from Stan, so I'm, I'm, I'm going through it like, man, who the fuck is y'all? Because I ain't know them. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't never been around no Mark as well. I don't know him, period. Or oh, I don't know my teeth. So I seen him one time, but I don't know him. So we get our bun, we go, we go to the county. So I'm on the deck now. I go to RTU. So I'm laying across the bump. As I'm laying across the bump. This day right here, the, uh, the officers don't come. So when they come to the door, they span, what's span at, what's span at? And I'm like, man, land right here. And they like, all right, grab your stuff. Come on, like, man, what don't grab my stuff for? What you on? You don't want us to see it. You don't want us to see it in front of everybody else. You know, that make you think some snitch shit. Yeah. So I'm like, hell no. Nah. I'm like, man, what the fuck what you say? Yeah, motherfucker, no, I'm here for a murder. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, you saying like I'm a snitch. Hell no. Nah. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh -huh. What you talking about? They like, man, get your shit. Get your shit. Come on, you got to go. I'm like, well, I got to go. So when I get out in the hallway, I'm snapping. Because they taking me out the field. I'm like, man, what the fuck going on? What the fuck going on? So man, now they taking me, now they take me over there to the uh, a bullet building where they try to put me in a cell with the thing. They was like, man, you got the case on a, uh, the Latin King, the Latin King chief. I'm like, nah, I ain't got all this. I'm man, what the fuck that mean? Who is like, that's when I found out I had the murder on Cato. I'm like, man, get me the fuck out this cell. Like, and it was crazy because I didn't know who I had the murder on because I, I never got rid of my rights for the murder or none of that shit. So I'm like, damn. So I actually found out like, two three days after that actually the only the only reason they found out because that day they came and got me they put me in the newspaper because it was a bond for to be paid for me uh -huh. and they popped up in a newspaper that it both about some counterfeit money in the bond or whatever and uh that's when it came through and that's when they came through and they grabbed me i'm like that other than that bro i ain't even know who the fuck he was so i ain't even know what murder i had that's how actually i thought that okay though was that's crazy so how long did they keep you locked up fighting that case where was you first off man i was in division eight rtu i said enough from 03 to uh 08 see i've been supposed to start a trial but you know you got five years to get the fed, fed case uh -huh. so i really was trying to get the feds to come get rid of their case before i uh go to go with the murder 
handle so they came with a plea in 06 a joint plea by the feds and i'm like man uh actually i got the transcripts i'm like man tell them to drop the fed case and drop the uh state case and uh give me an apology for inconvenience me so, you know what I'm saying? I tell my lawyer that, my lawyer go tell him exactly what I said. In 08, I got found not guilty, but I had jailhouse cases. Cause I had got called jailhouse cases uh-huh. while I was in the, so I came home in 09. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, and they kind of talk a little bit about that. So, when you had to fight the case, did you have to go to trial? And did you have, all of that? You got found yeah, not guilty? Yeah, 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 I got found not guilty for it. I went to trial. I got found not guilty. Now, did the state call... I a bench trial. Did the state call witnesses against you, or did they just try to present... No, see, that's the whole thing. I didn't never have no witnesses against me. I ain't have no witness against me. I ain't have no statements against me. I had one one uh, state, one police saying that I made a statement to them. But when you first get arrested, you know, when you first get arrested, you uh, exercise your right. They got to sign a paper. Uh-huh. saying that you asked for a lawyer yeah. and by me asking for a lawyer I, soon I get in there I man I want my attorney uh-huh. and my attorney popped up five minutes later so when they put him on the stand and said that uh, man uh, he said I beat on the door he said I beat on the door and said I, I want to talk about a murder I want to talk about murders so that's when my lawyer told him man so then he signed a piece of paper when he came then you say he signed a piece of paper when he first came in he was like, yeah, and he showed it to him. It was like he signed this, right? Well, he, well, he said he wanted his attorney to exercise his rights, right? He was like, yeah. He was like, so you you, you still talk to him after that? And that's when uh, he was like, caught him in a lie. And it was like, my lawyer said like, what, five words in the, in the whole trial. And then like 15 words in the, in the closing arguments and killed him. So you, so you stayed locked up for all of those years. How long did the actual trial take? Man, my trial took, you know, when you go a bench trial, you start and they could prolong it for like uh, a, a month or yeah. so. So my trial was like, I started my trial because me and my rappy went to trial. Me and my rappy done L. Simmons. Uh-huh. So he went to trial together. So uh, probably like two, two months. I, got, I went that day, came back the next day, and the judge. That, that, that next time, two times, and they read the verdict. Because I both started with uh, in 08, at the beginning of 08. But uh-huh. I, I was going to jury, and my body ain't feel right. That was too many people. So when I come in the courtroom, suit it up. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't feeling it. Uh-huh. So I'm like, no, nah. he's like, you got to sit an extra year. So I'm like, man, I'll sit an extra year then, because I ain't feeling no jury. Uh-huh. And that's when me and my rappy, other rappy, went to trial. Yeah, I got it not guilty. I went to court. I want to say it was either two times or three times. I got it not guilty by the judge. 